connected tissues connecting for you they're all together classified because they're all derived from mesenchyme the blast cells secrete their four major types fibroblasts secrete ct proper osteoblasts secrete Cytoblast produce blood cells. Generally, their characteristics include innervation, wide range of regeneration, vascularization, and the degree varies. But the one thing they all share is protein, fibers, ground substance, and cells. And that's mostly connective tissue. Yo, let, let me, me tell, tell you about, about connective tissues properties. properties. We've got one, two, three categories. Connective tissue proper, connective tissue loose. And I messed up again. Oops, oops. Oh, and the loose category is areolar, collagen, elastic, and reticular fibers. In a gelatinous matrix, it's got these cell types. Let me, let me hear you, yeah. Fibroblasts and macrophages, mast cells, white blood cells, and all the stages. It's located under epithelia, surrounds some organs and blood vessels, hear me up. It functions to cushion all your organs, houses macrophages to defense against infection. It contains a good amount of water. Areolar, loose connective tissue proper. Next on my list we got dense regular, with many parallel collagen fibers. Provides great strength in two directions. The elastic fibers there are present. The cell type is fibroblast. Dense regular tissue is vascular. Yeah. The locations are tendons, ligaments, aponeurosis. That's where it's found. It functions to connect muscle to bone or bone to muscle. Withstand unidirectional test shown. <laughs> Next on my list, we got something else that's not regular. It's dense irregular with collagen arranging all orientations it provides great strength in all directions a few elastic fibers there are present the cell type is fibroblast like dense regular it's vascular it's located in the skin dermis digestive tract submucosa fibrous capsules around joints and organs withstands multi-directional tension it protects your joints and your organs dense regular adipose contains collagen elastic and reticular fibers in a sparse gelatinous matrix adipose have very large spaces located in a thin cytoplasm with fat adipose is highly vascular that's that it's located in the hypodermis around kidneys breast and abdomen it functions to protect from physical trauma temperature extremes and stores energy it's also a source of energy adipose ain't just fat it's for you and me next one is got the lymph nodes and spleen within it right and red blood cells are seen they are housed in reticular CT, made of reticular fibers, it's for all of us. Next, we're gonna specialize. Bone connective tissue helps you stay upright. upright. It's highly vascular and osteoblasts and osteocytes are present there. Cartilage, it's got three types. Three types. It is A, vascular, get it, get right. it right. Hyalin, elastic fiber cartilage. Hyalins in the long bones and the ribs. Elastic cartilage in the external ear, the epiglottis provides structure with flexibility. Don't fear. Fiber cartilage is the intervertebral disc, pubic symphysis, menisci of knee and joints. It's got firm shock absorbing support with great strength so you can play sports. play sports. Finally, we've got blood. It's in a matrix called plasma with no fibers. Erythrocytes, leukocytes, and platelets are within blood vessels and heart. It carries respiratory gases, nutrients, hormones, waste products, and white blood cells protect from infection. Yeah, I'm done. This was long. I hope I can remember this song. Now I'm gonna stop it.
Now, thanks for listening. Connect, Connect Tissue Pal. pal.